breaking. Pelosi says GOP leaders are about to undermine Trump. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has vowed that the government will not shut down again as it did at the end of December, even though the dispute about border security is ongoing, Politico reported. Pelosi and President Donald Trump have both increased the political pressure following the president's decision to allow the government to reopen for several weeks with payment for previously furloughed workers. There will not be another shutdown, Pelosi confidently asserted during a half hour interview with Politico on Wednesday in her Capitol office. No, it's not going to happen. The last shutdown, which lasted for 35 days and broke previous records, causes Pelosi to predict that Republican leaders won't allow the same problem to arise again. I have a club that I started, it's called the Too Hot to Handle Club. And this is a too hot to handle issue, Pelosi quipped. Pelosi said she believes a bipartisan House-Senate panel negotiating on border security will come to an agreement before the February 15 funding deadline, Politico reported and she pledged to support any deal that emerges from those talks, even as she remains firm that there won't be new money for Trump's wall. While saying she respects the office Trump holds, and prays for him daily, Pelosi dismissed Tuesday's State of the Union address, even as the California Democrat insisted, she can work with the president to move legislation that would benefit the country. Don't waste your time on this. This is theatrics, this is not government. Pelosi said of Trump's speech. We just take this in stride. The president's State of the Union was well received by viewers, with the vast majority saying that they approved of the message that he sent on Tuesday night. During that address, the president bore down on his belief that a border wall would not only allow for greater security for Americans but would protect the vulnerable from human trafficking as well. The House Speaker seemed unconcerned with Trump's message, however, and defended the congressional branch's oversight and authority.